Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So tonight's video is going to be about this motor. Um, I've done quite a few motors out of this. Uh, I started with um, the simple but strong beginner motor. Um, I had four pole magnets on here, then I had a traction on here, and now I have magnets back on here. Uh, except these magnets are all the same polarity. So we have a south magnet, south magnet. The electromagnets are south and south, so everything's the same polarity and um, we're going to be running in repulsion mode so it basically it, as it comes around it gets to here and then it pushes it to here and then it turns off and then the magnet does half the work and then it pushes it again so um, as far as that goes then we have the timing over here so we're about 50 percent on time and off time um, it goes through the my normal MOSFET circuit output into here and um, this new little device uh, I just made today for a friend of mine so this is a cap thumb except um, it has these um, XT60 connectors on it and so he wants to just plug in whatever capacitor bank he wants to it and then plug in on this side to go to the battery so I just set it up like that as well which is alligator clips so this is the capacitor right here that I'm using and um, with just alligator clips and this goes to the output so this will be our output battery and um, so yeah if you guys are interested in something like this just leave it in the comments so back to the motor we're gonna fire this thing up and uh, it takes most almost full power to get it kicked over and then we could bring it down we'll bring it down to about nine percent pulse width about as low as it could go without stalling out so there's nine percent right there so a nine percent um, you can't even really recognize it on the on this amp meter so what's interesting about nine percent here is um, so if you look at the scope and you could hear it this is the power on and it's not really enough to push it away but it's enough to where it has a little bit less magnetic field um, but if we get it in the neutral position right here and we let the magnet pull itself in then it could actually start itself so it's actually using more of the magnet than the electricity at this moment which is pretty neat you know the coil can't push it away but it it gives it enough to where um, you know it can't push the magnet away but it makes the magnetic effect a little bit lower and then the magnet attracts to the steel and starts running. So it's pretty cool. Pretty neat that it could run this low of energy. So we're going to start turning this up though. And um, about one amp. So it's about one amp right here. Let's see what the RPM is. So we're 1290, 1290 at one amp. And then we can see the cap dump dumping. So the cap dump is, is going up to 20 let's see here almost 21 volts so we're returning about 4 amps at 20 volts to the second battery and um, this is probably the most efficient RPM right here but we're gonna bring it up to 2 amps which is this is full power right here so let's see what the RPMs are so 18, 19 let's say 1900 RPMs and the cap dump still fine not quite as efficient but if we take this pulse width, if we look at the screen on the scope, if we back this off to about 75%, now you can see it kind of chopping it up. So we lost a little bit of our RPM, but we're using a little bit less amps, but we're getting a lot more energy back. So pretty neat. So now what we're going to do, you saw it in series. So that was this motor in series. So now what I'm going to do is rewire this and put it in parallel. So you get a little bit more power out of it, and um, let's see kind of what this little thing can do. Because in series it runs really nice, but in parallel, you know, we're we're over twice power, so it's pretty neat. So I'm just going to put both of these whites into this port on the negative side. Okay. 
and then we're going to put both of these greens on the positive side of the coil this side a little tight fit with two wires in here but I think it will work okay so now we're in parallel and um, so let's give this thing a kick now so now when you're in Now we're running parallel, so right off the bat, uh, we're two amps, so everything's double. And the output's obviously going a lot faster because we're using a lot more power, but we really turn this thing up now and see what you could do. So now well, we're at 2,500 RPMs and we're using seven amps. So this little motor's got some power. It's a little, little adjustment on the timing for starting. But yeah, that's pretty neat. Powerful little sucker. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching.